Have you ever thought you're not talented enough to make it in music? Let's talk about talent and what it means to make it big in music. So what is talent? Talent is literally something that you're really good at without even trying. Everybody has some kind of a talent. Not everybody who wants to go and do something in music though is talented in music like me. I didn't grow up being really good at singing. I wasn't really musically gifted at all. Like, you know, you hear the stories about Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber was a great singer kind of from the jump which is great for him. He still had to work hard and get those skills to make it big in music, but I didn't have any of those. I didn't have any talent at all. I didn't have talent really much of many things when it comes to the music industry and, and making music. But there's a huge difference between talent and skill, which actually, if you stay to the end of the video, we're gonna talk about the number one skill that you really do need to make it big in music. But when it comes to talent, you need more than just talent to make it big in the music industry. So even if you're not talented, that doesn't matter. Cause even if you were talented, that doesn't guarantee your success. And next, what does making it big in music even really mean? Cause when asked about success, if you can't even define what your own definition of making a bigger success really is, then what are we talking about? Like, what are we saying? Um, when it comes to me, I always define making it big a lot differently. When I started doing music, I looked at guys like Jay-Z, Kanye, Rick Ross. I looked at those guys. Why? Because Jay-Z, Kanye, and Rick Ross, they have one thing in common. They did make it big in music, but they went outside of music. Jay-Z made it from, from music to the boardroom. Kanye went into fashion and not just rapping, but producing. Rick Ross has all these businesses. He owns you know, all these wing stops and all these different things. These guys enterprise themselves. And to me, that was always what made it big meant to me. It doesn't even necessarily, and those are three of the most famous guys. Like Jay-Z is obviously on Mount Rushmore, but I didn't even care about just the artistic goals. You know, I cared a lot about goals beyond that. 50 Cent, another great example, Curtis Jackson. He went way beyond music and went and dominated media and TV shows and movies. So when I started, like I said, I never grew up with any talent. I never grew up really with any formal music training at all. So here's what I had to do. I had to develop skills. I had to develop business skills. I had to develop communication skills. I had to develop marketing skills. I had to learn what the fuck marketing even was. Like what is social media? What is paid ads? What, what is all this stuff? Then I had to go and actually learn skills that were going to help me create better music, which is the final point in this video, which is really what you truly need beyond the talent, which is skills. Skills and talent are different. Talent is something you're really good at without trying. And skills are things you develop that make you really good, things that you have full control over. And it goes without saying that if you want to make it big in the music industry, whether whatever your definition is, if you want to make it and you want to get to a high level with music and create a career for yourself and really become successful, you're going to need to put out a high quantity of high quality music. It's a no brainer. Right. And the problem is a lot of artists, they say, well, I'm having trouble with marketing and promotion. I can't get my songs out there and blah, blah, blah. But you're not able to put out consistent music. Like if you're not able to put out at least one song every single month with an effective marketing strategy, what are we talking about? You're not going to be able to make it big at all. You're not going to make any career out of music. And so if you want to make music a viable career where you actually pull in revenue and income and you're able to pay the bills and you're able to actually go to the grocery store with money you made for music, like, and you're not putting out music on a consistent basis, like, and the biggest issue is what? You're buying beats on the internet. You're buying them off of YouTube. You're going to a friend's house to record. You're waiting for somebody to send you your mixes back. They don't sound the way you want. You got to go back and forth. The beats you're buying, they aren't the way you want them to sound. You've got a, maybe you've got a friend making beats for you, but you can't, you can't ever meet up or maybe they flake on you or maybe they aren't taking your music as seriously as you are and they just don't see the same vision. And at the end of the day, you sit back and you sit back and you go, fuck, I realize like, this all happened to me and I'm sure it's happening to you. You're sitting here being like, fuck man, like I wanna be able to create high quantity of high quality music. When it comes to writing lyrics, I have that. I have those skills, maybe even talent. But when it comes to actually putting the songs out and making them on a consistent basis, that's where you're lacking. You're lacking in that because you aren't controlling the process. And so the number one skill that you can learn as an independent artist, if you're at a place where you're not able to put out a high quantity of high quality songs is in fact 
producing, which really comes down to multiple skills, but overall it's producing instrumentals, recording vocals at home, mixing and mastering. Now, if you want to learn how you can fully produce your own music in 90 days, all you've got to do is click the link below and figure that out by, for yourself. You can really just go watch the free video that I have on my channel. It's a training that shows you exactly how we break it down, how I've been able to get results with over 40 other independent musicians that all came in. And by the way, this is how we teach it. You don't need to know music theory. You don't need to have expensive equipment and you don't even need any prior music production experience. All you need is a computer and your home recording setup, which you already have since you've been putting out songs for such a long time. So here's the deal. If you're a songwriter, you've got a computer and a home recording setup and you've been spending thousands and thousands of dollars on production and you're sick of depending on producers and you know that it's finally your time to shine, then click that link below, go watch the video. And if you're interested, you can book a call with me to come and roll into the Rapid Fire Music Academy. So I hope this video helped. Really appreciate you tuning in and watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.